Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, Salam, and this is my little angel. We sent you lots of love, good energy. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Happy Memorial Weekend to all my friends and all over America, USA, USA. And it was done because of many, many sacrifices of people who gave their lives for this freedom of this country. This week, the sun is in the sign of Gemini, so happy birthday to you. We love you, Geminis. Happy birthday, Christine, my partner. The moon will travel in the signs of Cancer, the Virgo, and Libra. And it's Ramadan that begins on Saturday. This interesting week will bring a variety of all kinds of things in the star world. Trines, oppositions, squares, conjunctions, all the goodies. And some little challenges too. Sunday and Monday, Mars, planet of energy and war, and Saturn, planet of wisdom, have a face-off that can bring a few challenges and roadblocks or losses, delays, but it's for a little while. The good, good, good thing is that this aspect is short-lived. And we are given a second chance to make things right, to recoup some losses, make new investment, and by the end of the week, things will get back to a more normal flow. Okay? So just be on guard and be wise and don't do anything important on Monday and uh, Sunday. Wednesday, we have a very beautiful Earth trine between Mercury and Pluto. A very great time to talk about stuff that matters and make things right in our personal life and also in the countries, in the gover governmental affairs and politics and all that stuff. The truth now is shining. Remember I told you that everything in the universe grows to the light and now the light is exposing the dark in order to create more light at the end of the day. So keep your fingers crossed and your heart beating strong because hope is in the air. Thursday, Venus, planet of love and Saturn, planet of wisdom, make a very nice, happy trine, giving us a sense of duty, honor, dignity, and a strong desire for commitment in love, relationships, and finances. So it's sort of a week that we're bouncing back to make things right in our personal life and world affairs. I love it. The truth is shining through. The light is coming in. Wow, let's celebrate. Gemini, let me start with you. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my beautiful Gemini. The sun and Mars in your sign make you very smart, generous, creative and definitely more in the flow. A good time to take care of your health. In career, you feel stronger, more confident, but you have to take care of business. You have somehow a heart of gold these days. Some people may want to take advantage or they need your help. Well, it's good to say yes, I will help you, but also say no when it's not good. On the weekend, relax, go out with friends, see a movie, have good food, but do take care of your health because you'll be very busy in the next few months. And a Leo, a Cancer, a Libra also think you are great. Your magical color yellow, lucky numbers, eight and 44. Cancers, Neptune in your karmic sector enhances your beauty, your creativity, your energy, and Mars and the sun in your spiritual house bring hope, positive feelings, generosity, of heart and also inspiration. If you're an artist, a musician, a creator, an entrepreneur, you get ideas. Healing is definitely in the air, so if you have health issues, you can have solutions at your hands right now. So knock on doors. Is It is a very, very special time also to really rethink your life and somebody very important could touch your heart these days. Enjoy this beautiful state of being and the love that you are receiving this week. You are loved for who you are by very special people. On the weekend, let your imagination float. Enjoy life to the fullest. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 9 and 27. Leo, Leo, the sun, your ruler, and Mars in your social sector make you popular, sociable. These days, it is not easy to make a date with you. You want to be on your own. Still, if you want to find the time for someone, you will, right? You should accept all invitations this week. You won't be sorry, you will love it. The focus is also on really 
good news and good good expectation in the financial and career part of your life it's a good time also to decorate to fix your house things everywhere around your life and get some kind of more flow but you're gonna have to be the one doing it and putting the hand you know in the work for it to be done at the end of the week you'll feel really proud of yourself on the weekend tenderness and laughter await you'll be busy but it will be fun because you will accomplish miracles your magical color gold like numbers 2 and 11 Ta -da! Virgo, this is a nice and enlightening kind of week. The sun and Mars in your career sector make you ambitious, creative, but also sociable. A good time to catch up with the latest, latest stories with family and co-workers. In career studies, research, you surpass yourself. And your greatest assets is definitely your humor, open-mindedness. And in love, you shine like a star. If you're single, you will absolutely attract fabulous people. If you're married, the, the flame is revived. On the weekend, it sort of brings you a feeling of gratitude and joy for all your blessings. Your magical color blue, like in numbers 8 and 14. Libra, this is a kind of week where you feel good. The sun and Mars in your karmic sector give you inspiration, imagination, a feeling of being on top of things, and you're catching your breath. At work, it's less busy. Partnership meetings, negotiations go very well. And on the weekend, take a break, spoil yourself, gather with people, and just celebrate you. Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpio truly show they care. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers, then in 46. Scorpio, Scorpio, everyone around you seems to be feeling quite pleased with the way things are turning out. What about you? Are you happy the way things are? What could you do to make it even better? This is a very good time to truly, truly appreciate all the blessings the universe has given you lately. In career, at work, your creativity and leaderships are very, very strong. So delegate, take initiative, ask and you shall receive. In love, the same. The more you ask, the more you shall receive. People definitely want to please you these days, so just say, I need this and I need that. On the weekend, tender moments await. Enjoy. Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers, 7 and 34. ta -da! Sagittarius, all is well, that ends well. You feel absolutely wonderful. A delicate situation in your personal life will turn in your favor. The sun and Mars in your shared resources sector make you very popular and lucky. You receive the support of friends, family, and colleagues. Keep a balance between your personal life and work life. And actually, in the next few weeks, it would be good to relax a little bit more. Work less, play more. On the weekend, making people happy definitely is your job. Your magical color, red, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Capricorn, notice how some people know how to enjoy themselves and dance with life. What about you, my little goat? Do you keep some leisure time for yourself? Why don't you treat yourself to a good time and connect with people and have fun and go for dinner, go dancing this weekend and all week. Do something fun. Let your hair down and express your sensual side. That's the message for the weekend. Your magical color, silver, like in numbers 5 and 13. Aquarius, the sun and Mars in your creative sector bring you confidence and good fortune. You are in the public eye. You attract gains and recognition, closeness with family. You get along very well also with others. It's a very good time to share your thoughts, your ideas, your feelings with people you care about even with some people at work. Be mysterious in romance if you are single. Play hard to get a little bit if you're a girl. If you're a guy, come on, come on down, the price is right, and please be a hunter and do your man thing. Hold on to your pants, but you have to keep your uh, hold to your skirt, girls, right? Most importantly, keep your work and private life separate that's the key to your happiness this week on the weekend you feel love and safe your magical color orange lucky number six and 21. Pisces you really need to take a break spend more time at home smuggle up and spoil yourself especially on the weekend you know you want to do this so go for it in love you attract foreigners that really really like your style so get ready to meet all kind of other p kind of culture people this week enjoy the moment and take things as they come that's the secret in career 
You could have brilliant new ideas for a creative project, so take notes on the weekend. Just let your love and imagination float and just be free like a bird. Your magical color pink like in numbers 4 and 22. Aries, the sun and Mars in your communication sector make you smart, free-spirited, and also aware of who you are becoming. You're doing good. The question is, what do you want to accomplish looking forward? And how can you use all your gifts to be the best you could be? Focus on your dreams and wishes with all your heart this week. In love, time to experiment a different side of you. On the weekend, a wonderful surprise awaits. Wow. Your magical color, red, lucky number 6 and 31. Taurus, Taurus, the sun and Mars in your financial sector bring you protection and gains. In career, your determination wins the day. In love, pay close attention to people you love and follow your intuition no matter what. What advice you give right now will be also received. So watch your words and follow the heart, not your mind. You need to be flexible. I'm telling you, if you do, you will be very, very happy. You know what is best for you. You know what's best for other people. Just do that. Also, the focus is on research and the reflection of your life and your dreams. So spend a little time meditating and taking walks in nature. Also, animals bring you some kind of satisfaction or inspiration. On the weekend, love conquers all. Your magical color green, like in number 7 and 34. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this very pleasant memorial, actually variety kind of week. Let's close our eyes for a little minute and send gratitude to all the soldiers and people who gave their lives in the many past wars. And let's hope that someday soon there will be peace and that soldiers will be an army of carpenters going to the front to fight for justice with tools and hammers and just to build a beautiful new world of peace. Not guns, tools and hammers. Remember the song of the Beatles? Imagine all the people living all in peace, all for one, no more frontiers, justice for all. This is what's gonna happen. This is what the fifth and the sixth dimension is bringing to the world right now. It's all happening. I love you, be good, happy Memorial Day. Have fun.